Good morning, everyone. This is Linda. Let me turn my girl off. <laughs> so I was watching um, the life of a solicitor, wife and mom. That's the name of her channel. So a solicitor in British is translation here in America. She is a lawyer. She is a lawyer. And she is a... Uh, She's a beautiful, beautiful woman. I love her. She and I have been supporting each other's channels for years, years, and I love her. All right. So today, guys, first, welcome to the channel. I want to thank you all for stopping by. I want to share with you just some things I'm going to be doing in my garden this spring. Yeah. So first, I want to talk to you all about some tomatoes that I'm growing. Now, I'm focusing on 10 tomatoes. I know that's a lot, huh? I know. I, I, I think I can handle it. I think I got it. But um, 10 tomatoes, and most of them are big tomatoes. I have never focused on growing big tomatoes, but I have 10 that I'm gonna be growing, yes. But first, if you are not subscribed to the channel, come on, hit the subscribe button. I will be sharing my Zone 9 garden. Yes. <laughs> share with you some of the tomatoes, uh, the big tomatoes that I'm growing. Now, I'm growing other tomatoes like uh, the Super Sweet 100s uh, because I just love them. And so I want you all to know that even throughout the summer, they just keep going and going and going. So yeah, drop your seed or two of uh, Super Sweet 100s. But anyway, let's get back to these big tomatoes. So this is my first one that I'm growing. And all the tags, the little bags are ripped because yeah, I've dropped them. Um, this is the black creme. I've grown black creme before, but I'm focusing on getting her the biggest I can get her. Yeah, I'm gonna share some of the things that I'm gonna do to help my tomatoes get to their biggest potential. That's what I want. That's what I want. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to be growing this big boy hybrid. Yeah, a big boy hybrid. Cherokee purple, which, so if you've been here on my channel, you know I've grown a Cherokee purple before. And we're going to get her. We got, we got them going. All of these tomatoes I mentioned today, they are out in the garden now and they are growing. This is the classic beef tomato. Got her going. This is a very new tomato to my garden, and that is the Black Beauty tomato. She's out there. Now, I have two black tomatoes, but I'll show you. I'll share the next one. I hope she's in here. Oh, she's in here. Okay. The next big tomato I'm growing is the Kellogg's Breakfast. Now, I know this tomato gets really, really, really big. So, we're going to see if we can get her to the biggest she can get here in my zone nine garden. We'll see. We'll see how they go. This Dr. Witcher, I think, yellow. This one. I'm looking forward. I'm looking forward to it. Yep. And the Kentucky beef, uh, beef steak. I'm looking for that one. Yeah. And this is that other black tomato, right? This is a, a, a true black brandy wine. They're growing already. And the one that I really love too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that is the orange jazz. Now, she don't get huge, huge, but whatever's huge to her, I want it. Yeah, I want it. So those are the 10 tomatoes that I'm growing really big in my garden this spring. So listen guys, I want to talk to you also about this. Um, 
Oh, here's a, just a shot of uh, some of the tomatoes that's growing and what I've done this morning. Now, I came in to talk to you guys because it is so windy. It's beautiful outside. Absolutely gorgeous. But it's so windy because last night we had all of this rain. The skies just opened up on us last night and it was a doozy <laughs> it was a doozy over here but you know i just got in my bed started watching some videos and i went to sleep y'all i went to sleep <laughs> but i want to talk to you all about fruit cheese now let's talk about fruit cheese a little bit all right now this is not to deter anyone from growing their fruit cheese. I want you to grow fruit cheese. Hell, I have 10 fruit cheese in my yard. 10. And in my next video, I'm going to share with you some things that I've seen this morning. But we're not going to get into that with this video. But anyway, it's good news though. It's good news. Um, Is that fruits in our daily life is so important. So I dare you to try to eat any fruit, any fruit, whether it's citrus, it would be good if it's citrus, yeah. Uh, but any fruit, just eat a fruit every day for 30 days. Eat a fruit every day for 30 days. You will notice that your body is lighter and I mean lighter to you. I don't mean like, you know, you're going to shed 15 pounds. We ain't talking about that. <laughs> you won't be so heavy to yourself because fruits are so important to the human body. Fruits help us not only survive, but fruits will help us thrive, right? So we need fruits every day. So, try eating a fruit for 30 days. And see, you could, you're could you going to be able to feel the difference, all right? Yeah. So, that's the first thing is to definitely, I eat a fruit every day. So, I eat some kind of fruit every day, all right? So, fruit trees are so important. But what I want you all to also know is to grow your food. Grow your food. And when you grow this food, eat this food. All right? So when you're growing vegetables, and, and some people say, well, I don't know what to grow. I don't, you know, I don't know. So think about this. Think about a plate of food. Think about a plate of food. And let's just, let's just say you cooked... Um, green beans with potatoes and you put your own kind of meat of, of whatever flavors you put in it all right don't forget if you put onions and garlic um, parsley maybe you put bell peppers I don't know but a seasoning seasoning that you grow all right so you think about everything it takes to make that meal um, perfect for you and your family right Grow those things. So, when you're growing greens, um, you harvest your greens, you clean your greens, and if you're going to store them, store them. But with that space, grow more food that you and your family love. And this is how I continuously drop seeds throughout the spring. Right, And I know some people say, well, I just can't get my, my plant started from seed. And I understand that sometimes it happens. Go ahead on out there and purchase your seedlings and then drop your seeds. Okay, drop your seeds, but start with your starts. And it's all right to start with seedlings. It's all right, baby. It's all right to do that, you know? But when you think about your plate of food, think about all the things that you grow that that you put into that plate of food, all right? Say like um, the other day, if you saw the video, I cooked some stuffed melatons. Now, melatons, or you may call it chayote, it's a vegetable already, it grows, right? 
But my melaton not only served me as my vegetable, it also served me as my main course in my meal. And all of the seasonings that was in that that uh, that melaton, bell peppers, the green onions, celery, all those things, we can grow all of that. So think about what it takes to complete a meal that you can grow and grow it, right? And when you harvest, you chop it up, you clean it up, and you store it, you drop more seeds. And that's how you keep on dropping seeds. All right? But anyway, guys, I wanted to stop in and talk to you all. Just couldn't talk to y'all outside. That's all. But I hope you all have a wonderful morning. Have a beautiful morning. So I may show some of the things that I did um, out there um, and do a voiceover on that part. All right? You all have a great day. Later, y'all. So this morning I did a little harvest. Uh, my grandkids is coming over this evening, so I wanted to make something really cool for them. So I harvest some. Uh, I harvest one of my beets, yeah, and um, I harvest some fava beans. Um, I did uh, get some celery. I, I got a, an onion and a garlic. Uh, that is to complete this meal I want to uh, fix for my grandkids. We, they're going to have dinner with me tonight. So I wanted to cook something really cool for them. Yeah. And this is the harvest I did uh, from the yard. So um, I have to go back and get more like some parsley, get some thyme out there. Uh, but everything else, uh, this is what I have. And this is going to go into my meal that I'm going to prepare for the kids and I for tonight. And I'm definitely looking forward to eating that beet because the first one I did harvest, it was so good. And um, Jada ate most of it <laughs> when she came home from school. So I'm happy that, you know, that she loved it. But this is just some of the things I did out in the garden this morning. Also... When I harvest, I also drop more seeds. And this is, that, those are the, the beets that I dropped uh, this morning after I did my harvest. Yeah, so I want more of them growing because they are good. And, you know, now that I know that the kids like it just as much as I do, I want to grow more, more. <laughs> yes, just a whole lot more. But I did see some things happening in my garden with my garlic that I didn't notice the other day. That is angel trumpet, the purple angel trumpet I started from seed. Okra. Yeah. But those onion and garlics, I'm going to share with you. What, what are they doing out there? You're going to really see... What is really going on? So this is the way my garden looked after all that bad weather we had last night. And that is the lemon lemon balm and, and the uh, spearmint. And they look so beautiful this morning. Absolutely. They look so beautiful. And um, I just want to uh, share with you all what the onion and garlic is doing. Oh, they talking this morning. They talking. So this is my iris that is blooming. Now she was on a high uh, plant stand, but the wind knocked her over. And as you can see, she's fine. But the Dollar Tree bucket she was in, if you could see that, it, it was just tore up. Look at that. <laughs> so I decided I wasn't going to take her out of it. Just let her stay. And I don't want to interrupt uh, the blooming process. No, I don't want to interrupt her. I want her to keep on going. Those are my seed potatoes. Um, yeah, that rain last night, ooh, it was really hard. And um, so this is my taiga melon right there. I've decided I'm going to take that taiga melon and put it and let it trellis up with the cucumbers over there. And then that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to put her over there. 
yeah but uh, in my next video I will share with you all where I will be dropping seeds for more melons honeydews cantaloupes and things like that and I'm going to share with you where I'm going to place those uh, those fresh those fruits they're going to be in the ground yeah we're going to enjoy them but anyway, guys, I want to thank you all so much for hanging out with me. I hope you have a beautiful, beautiful Thursday. Mm -hmm.